I'm one of four professional spoon players in the United States, so folks don't really get to see it anymore. A lot of folks say they've seen it on TV, but never in person, and some folks have never seen it ever. I learned because I was backpacking the country and I didn't want to be another bum with a cardboard sign. I like to do this music here because it's, it's pre-Civil War and Civil War, and we give a history of the, of the songs, you know, and it's like a dying art form, like the spoons, they're, they're dying. You know, it's, it's just sad. You know? The kids love it, you know, kids in strollers, their legs are kicking, you know, they're trying to dance. And the Crips here, and now they come up here and, and, and request, you know, the watermelon song or, or uh, the crawdad song. song. You get a line, I'll get a pole, baby. They always request that. <laughs> it's like, cool. <laughs> so you touch every, everybody gets touched everybody. by the old music. It's history, man. That's what it is, it's living history. You know, you can listen to rap, you can listen to country, you can listen to rock. If you hit a good note on a guitar, you don't care what kind of music it is, everybody's beating their foot.